Hello guys, Texturman is back. Today we are going to do something truly special. We are going to render this Mercedes-Benz Vision GT in the Keyshot. And I'm just going to mention, if you want to download this 3D model or 3D files, you can visit my Patreon page. Link is in the description. And we are almost hitting our first goal on the Patreon. So big thanks to you guys. And let's start working on this render. First step is to import our 3D model. So I'm just going to click on this button right here, import. I'm going to find my 3D model and I'm just going to double click on my file. All right, guys, this is how it looks in the key shot. These are the basic materials and basic environments. But if you want to create more realistic renders, we need to create a brand new camera. We need to create our own custom lightning and we need to create also new materials. So. I will going to start um, working on my camera view. Then I will create like the basic materials, maybe one or two to set up the lightning. So let's start work on the camera. I'm going to click on this camera tab. I'm going to click on this button, which is add new camera. I can change the name of this camera and I, I always using like the main camera name, main camera view. This is good. I'm going to turn on this grid so I, I, I can make sure I'm in the middle of the frame. And we need to change this value, of course. This is like the more, more orthographic view and this is like the more perspective view. I'm going to use the value which is like the most common for automotive renders and automotive photography. So that's like the 45 or 50 millimeters. And I need distance like 350. We can use like this predefined camera view from the key shot, like the front or back, but I'm going to use this left. This is like the good starting point. And again, I'm going to change this to 350 and I'm going to use these sliders. So something to like this. And I also going to use this inclination slider to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle of the frame. So something to like this. This is actually really good. I'm going to turn off this grid mode. So click on the non and the grid mode is off. I'm going to save the camera and long the camera position. So now I can't rotate in this camera. That's good. So we, we don't accidentally change anything. And if you want to rotate, you go back to the free camera and now you can rotate. So this is like the basic camera setup. Now we need to create few materials. And for this car, I'm going to use like car paint red. So I'm going to, to find this material here in the material tab. I'm going to the folder paint metallic. I'm going to open metallic. I'm going for the candy coat and I'm just going to drag and drop this material. And I'm also going to use this shiny material for rim, which is the paint gloss. I'm going to double click on this material. I'm going to change this color completely to the black. And I'm going to make it a little bit more rough. I'm also going to create this uh, tire material and I'm going to the plastic and I'm going down and just drag and drop this tire material to the tire, double click on the tire and I'm going to make this tire a little bit more shiny. This is like a little bit more rough. This is like a little bit sh more shiny. So I'm going to use this value. This is all right. I'm going back to my camera view and now I'm going to create new environment. So let's click on environment tab. We are going to click on this add new environment. We are going to change the name. All right, and we need to change these settings. So we are going to use this flattened ground and we are going to turn on this occlusion ground shadow. You can see how this shadow is going to change. You see it's much more darker. And now we need to set up this HDRI editor. So we are going to use the gradient. We are going for the highest resolution. We are going to make this pin black for now and we are going to make this pin uh, much more brighter, something to like this. 
this is all right and now we are going to change the spin we are going to use something like really dark blue color so maybe like this this is all right and I'm going to change the slider so I'm going to use maybe like this and I'm also going to change these sliders right here so something to like this this is all right and I'm going to show you what's going on the white color is on the bottom and the dark blue is uh, on the top so this will be like our environment backplate or background so I'm going back to my environment and now we can set up all the pins and all the lightning so I'm going to use brand new pin so add pin I'm going to use the rectangular I'm going to use half of the pin and I'm going to make this pin much more bigger something to like this I'm going to also increase this brightness to 5 or 6 I'm going to use the fall off and also rounded corners and I'm going to move this pin so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on the car and I need something to like this I'm going to use this value to change exact position so you can see when I uh, move the slider to the left the lightning is going to the left or to the right and this is like up and down so I'm going to use these lights settings right here so maybe like this and this will be a little bit more to the right side All right. This is good. I'm going to create another light. So again, new light. I'm going to use rectangular light and I'm going to move this light to the top. I'm going to make these fall off so the light will be so light uh, will have soft edges like this also I'm going to make the round corners and I'm going to the right side I, I will try to lightening these uh, fenders or I don't know how this part is calling shoulder line right here so something to like this and I'm going up all right and I'm also going to bump up this volume brightness this is good and I'm just going to um, duplicate this lightning or this pin and I'm going to move it something to like this all right I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, bigger I'm going to increase this volume brightness value and I'm going again use these sliders to, to make uh, the, hit the exact position so this is good and maybe a little bit more like this this is all right so I'm going to create again new lightning and I'm going to again use the fall off I'm going to again use the rectangular I'm again going to use rounded corner and I'm going to make the brightness bigger 
and I'm going to hit this uh, back side of the car. This is all right. And this is also good. So something to like this and we need to create another lightning. So again, new pin, I'm going to use again a rectangular, but I'm going to use the half of the size and we again going to use the 90 and the 45 value to make it more like the, uh, more like the rectangular. So mm -hmm, I'm going to also increase this brightness. I'm going to use this fell of an again rounded corner and I will try to hit this uh, back of the car. So maybe like this. And I'm going a little bit more up. Okay, this is all right. And again, we are going to create new light pin. We are going to increase the brightness. I'm going to make this pin smaller. Something like this. I'm going to use this fall off again. And I'm, I'm trying to hit again like this, um, this side of the car. All right, this is good. And the last final light. So I'm going to uh, light this front of the car. So I'm going to click on this. I will need to make these a little bit more bigger. Actually, I'm going to use the rectangular. And again, I'm going to use the round corner and fall off. I'm going to use the five brightness and I'm just trying to hit the front of the car. This is all right. And this is like really good lightning and we need to maybe create one more light to, to make this floor brighter. So I'm going to use circular light. So create new pin circular and I'm going to bump up this value. I'm going to make this uh, light red just because um, because I'm, I'm going to show you something. So this will be like the red. I'm going to use low value 0.25. I'm going to use fall off 1.25. So soft edges. And I'm going to bring this light down and you can see we create something like the like the floor with this lightning. So I'm going back to my view and I'm going to change this value to the white. And if you're going to bump up this value, you can see uh, we got white uh, floor, but I'm going to use just a slide slightly this brightness so maybe like this and this is all right yes this is all right and i'm going this will be like negative 90 so it will be completely flat down so yeah that's good i'm going to click on this and this button will render this HDRI in full resolution. All right, boys, that's it. We finished this part of the lightning and also the part number one of automotive visualization tutorial. So I hope you subscribe and you don't miss the part number two because the part number two will be available tomorrow. And if you want to support me, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you want to download this 3D model, 
check out my Patreon page, link is in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.